Our cruise is quickly coming to an end. Friday night was the second and final formal night after a day at sea. We start with a dinner staff parade as they present the baked Alaska during formal night in the main dining room. Baked Alaska was definitely not the only dessert. I took pictures of a few more. These desserts were often the highlights of meals and dining. Friday night in the Princess Theater was the presentation of the production show Spotlight Bar. This innovative show depicts an evening at the vibrant Spotlight Bar where people get together and share stories through music and song. This was a good show with talented musicians and singers. As was the case with rock opera, the other production show, video was not allowed, so I got a few photos. Saturday was another sea day as we wouldn't arrive in Victoria, British Columbia until 7 p.m. But we were soon sailing within sight of the beautiful British Columbia coast and eventually into the Strait of San Juan de Fuca. The afternoon was pretty relaxed and I found myself relaxing by the pool with pizza and a margarita watching football on the giant screen. So Saturday afternoon found the Princess Theater presenting a variety theater matinee featuring Tricia Kelly, vocal impressionist, who had performed in the theater earlier in the week, and Liam Stewart, featured performer in the Crooner's Lounge for the week. Our arrival into Victoria was in the late afternoon around sunset, and it is a beautiful arrival. Let's watch from our cabin balcony. Many people, including me, did not get off the ship in Victoria. Due to being in port for only a few hours, the need to take a shuttle into town and the fact that it was at night. There was plenty of activity on board, however, for those staying on the ship. I headed up to the very top of the ship, to a part of the ship I didn't show you in the previous ship tour video, to see if I could get some nighttime shots of Victoria, British Columbia. This area is the walking, jogging track and the basketball and pickleball courts on the ship. There were two other cruise ships in port beside us, the Holland America Westerdam and the Norwegian Encore. All the way on deck 19, Vista, 
is the putting green that I just discovered on this last night of the cruise. Let's head along the jogging track and see what views we can discover. Finally, here's what I was looking for. A nice view of the skyline of Victoria, British Columbia at night. And then it was over. We were back at Seattle where we spent the night before heading back to the airport to board our Alaska Airlines flight back to Austin, Texas. The departure out of Seattle was very scenic. At least until we were in the clouds. But as we headed south and east, the clouds began to clear and we were afforded much better views of the train below. The views of the Great Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, and the Wasatch Mountains were great this afternoon. We had meal service as we watched the views of the Rockies in Colorado and New Mexico go by below. Here we can see the town of Red River, New Mexico, a popular tourist and ski town. After about three hours, we were over the plains of Texas and caught this view of the city of Lubbock. Soon we were passing over the lakes of the Texas Hill Country and beginning our approach into Austin, Texas. I'll leave you to watch our landing in Austin and the end of our Alaska trip.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, would you give us a thumbs up, share it, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think? We invite you to join us on our website at findushere.com, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And be sure to check out this video next for more travel fun. And don't forget to subscribe. Your subscriptions are always greatly appreciated.